right, thanks you too. 544 right now. At least 11 people are dead. Thousands more have been displaced by a massive storm system that's sweeping right across the northern Philippines. The nonstop rainfall from a weakening typhoon has caused severe flooding in several, prov several provinces, damaging roads and bridges, and cutting power and communication lines. The country's National Disaster Agency has yet to release data on the full extent of the damages, but there are fears the death toll may rise. About 20 typhoons hit the Philippines every single year. The United Nations Refugee Agency says up to 2,500 people are trapped in no man's land between Serbia and Croatia. Croatian police were deployed with metal barriers today in an attempt to control the influx of people. Hundreds of migrants escaping war and poverty spent a cold night on the border in buses and tents. As many as 5,000 people a day are flowing across Balkan borders from Greece into Macedonia and Serbia. It was an opportunity for people living in single room occupancy hotels to learn their rights. The second annual SRO tenant convention on the downtown east side also focused on eviction prevention and legal advocacy. Organizers say too many people in our city are still living in deplorable conditions. Many are subjected to bed bugs, rats, no running water or heat. You'll remember recently many people living at the Balmoral Hotel in Vancouver went for a full week without elevator service. A tenant can learn how to make a complaint to the City of Vancouver inspectors and tenants also are learning how to um, get arbitration with the Residential Tenancy Branch. And, and some of our tenants are actually winning compensation and sometimes in large amounts and we've had some victories that we're going to talk about soon. Three Vancouver hairstylists are teaming up to help the homeless. Every weekend, they're giving free haircuts to about 75 people who are homeless or living in Vancouver area shelters. Their goal is to set up a nonprofit barbering school to help those in need, learn new skills, and also find a job. They say they've had their own struggles, and barbering and hairdressing has helped them stay on the right track. A free haircut is, is maybe simple to some people, but a free haircut can change the world and gives them hope, gives them the opportunity to apply for a job, apply for residency, um, apply for the opportunity to move and grow. If you'd like to help out, the Street to Thug Barbers have set up a GoFundMe page to get their school up and running. The address right there on your screen. 547 right now, just ahead, a real Thor's hammer goes viral. Plus, watch a big gorilla befriend a tiny kitten. Thor's got your viral video.